In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the sidebar plugin with your Squarespace website to create a navigation. Um, in this case, I've got a story funnel here. And so each page of the, the funnel is a different chapter in the story. And once you get to the end of chapter seven, um, then there's an opt-in form to move to the second act. So it's a, uh, it's a unique kind of story funnel. And I wanted to test, okay, what happens if I add a table of contents so that as people go through, um, they can navigate perhaps if they want to go back um, to something that they missed or if they want to speed up and go forward. Now, I'm a little bit on the fence if, if I want to keep the sidebar navigation, um, you know, the whole point of a funnel is that someone has to consume everything to, to get through it. And so um, I'm on the fence, but uh, for the sake of demonstrating the sidebar plugin, I think this is still useful. So how do I do this? Um, here's a quick look at the sidebar plugin. And uh, it's really simple to set up. You upload two files to your Squarespace site, and then you copy and co copy and paste this code in. And so I have a sidebar page, which has my sidebar content. So you can see here the act one navigation is here on this page. And so anything I add to this page will be added to the navigation here. Um, and it's also enabled on reg regular page, a regular page, right? So this isn't a blog or it isn't a shop page. It's a regular page. And I have pasted this code in the page header injection for the pages that I want the, the navigation to be on. So um, it's not on the intro. It's not on chapter one. Uh, but once you get to chapter two, then there's this handy navigation to um, help you along your way. Now, as I think about it, maybe what I want to do is um, tweak the navigation so that as you advance to the next chapter, um, you can just kind of go back to where you've been, but you can't skip ahead. So I think that's that's that will resolve my uh, my on the fenceness with with this. So um, the benefit of adding this navigation to the story funnel is so that you'd be able to move back. So if you're on chapter two, you wouldn't be able to just skip forward to chapter five. You can only go back to chapter one. So that's um, a tweak I'm going to make. And then finally, you can see the sidebar. It's here on the left. Um, by default, it's on the right. And it's also sticky. So the way that works is uh, within the plugin file here, you can customize how you want it to show up. And there's a little... Uh, demo here for you. So if you wanted to, if you want to hide your sidebar in mobile, you can set that here. If we wanted to move this from the left to the right, we can bring it back to the right. Um, you can see I've got no gap in between the sidebar and the content. Um, and the, the sidebar is sticky. And so there's a number of other um, style and tweaks that we can make here. And once we've done that, we can either cut, copy and paste them as custom CSS, or we can paste it into our code injection along with our, our plugin code. So that's how um, I'm using the sidebar plugin on the story funnel experience. Um, I've linked to the plugin below so that you can try it out for yourself um, if you have a similar purpose for it. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.